How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pathway. I haven't been playing this in a little over a week. I had a crazy busy stretch of work, then I was away for a few days, so the daily uploads had to stop for a little while, but I'm hoping to get that right back on track again here. Sorry for the, the hold up with that. Hopefully it wasn't too unbearable to have to wait that out. Man, it really makes that look like something significant, you know? This little glowing tunnel that ends at a little spot there, but it's not indicated or highlighted in any special way so I have to assume that getting to here is still I mean it's obviously still the main goal but I don't think there's any reason to do much outside of going straight for that an old water supply system the cavernous crevice in the rock wall in front of you is clad with crude bricks a small murky gully indicates that you have come across an outlet of an ancient systems of water cisterns you hear distant chanting interspersed with screams and the noise of battle we could sneak. We could take a gamble on the sneaking, I'd say. You stumble over the remains of a desperate battle. Mangled bodies and tattered captains lie scattered around, but there's no trace of the victors. You stoop over a groaning tribesman, struggling for breath. Oh, shit. Is... This isn't an undead... It must be like an undead situation, right? Look at all the skulls and shit all over the place. But, like... Which am I going to end up fighting? It just says the victors. We don't really know which. I think I'm probably going to be fighting the undead. You do everything you can, but it's too late. The old man breathes his last in your arms. In low spirits, you continue your journey when you encounter a strange group of people coming the other way. They're just as startled as you are. Nope. Okay, they were startled, but they are most certainly just a bunch of zombies. Hmm. Seems to be more zombie twos than ones. Over here seems safe. Nope, nope, there's things behind me as well, so there's a good chance it's coming from all sides. In which case, I'm gonna need to be a little more careful about maybe where I choose to place these guys. I'll just get a nice square placement going here. I feel like that provides enough general coverage and, and possibilities. Nicely done, sir. Jackson can't quite get a shot off. What's going on here? This is like a little bit of a pinch point here. I don't think this zombie can actually walk through that. So there's some safety there. Oh, these aren't walls. That's totally open. But I don't really have to worry about that fighting zombies. At least I would think I shouldn't have to. I'm going to move you a little bit closer in, Omar, to hopefully finish this guy off. Excellently done. Piranha. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting you a little closer in here just to see. It's a solid brick wall though, so you can't actually you can't actually see what's going on there. Maybe I could just set him to overwatch though. You can just overwatch anyone who chooses to come through that area. What? Oh, he doesn't overwatch. I'm, I'm an idiot. That was a total waste. That's He just has his shoot many tiles thing. I thought it was weird that he overwatched with the shotgun. The answer is he doesn't. Jackson would be decently exposed here, but he can get a shot off. And I don't think there's a lot going on up here. Nice. Okay. Well shot, good sir. Okay. I think that went decently well. I just gotta hope that they aren't hiding immediately on the sides there. If they all just start funneling up from the bottom here, it should be pretty easy to pick them off. Four against five, and they're just a bunch of stupid zombies. Oh, I see. I see how you get through that. <laughs> Turns out it didn't matter anyways. He was far enough away that uh, couldn't really squeeze him off there. All right then, buddy, I think you can probably just hide around this corner. Oh yeah, you're totally fine from there. Oh, pretty close. Not not too shabby. I'm, I'm happy enough with it. Oh, it's just a level one. Not even a problem, blasted his damn arm straight off. You stupid zombie. What were you gonna do with those arms anyways? I just wanted to take away the possibility. I've ended your your death? I can't really say I ended a zombie's life, can I? I ended your second life. 
I'm sure there's some phrasing that's appropriate, but we probably don't need to think too heavily on it. Mm, I probably should have sent someone up here to help Piranha, actually, because now he's for sure getting attacked by that. He's not going to die or anything, but uh, I probably shouldn't have left him quite so vulnerable. Especially since, oh, well, sweet, I don't understand that at all. I say I said sweet so unsatisfyingly like oh sweet no it's kind of awesome because <laughs> he was he needs to reload anyways so if he can just win with a knife stab that's about as easy as that possibly could have been all these times in like the Walking Dead and stuff that the dead startle the living when they walk around quarters and stuff it's about time we we flip the script on them you know just get, throw a quick startle their way uh, I'm gonna throw a grenade in because it'll be fun and it'll be effective, which uh, I'm, I'm a fan of that as well. Double shot. Damn. I wanted the two double shot kills, because there's that whole achievement with getting double shot kills. So I thought that might be nice to have. I just wanted to see if maybe there was a chance that it was like 100% success rate from where he was at. You might as well not ex cover yourself at all or anything, Jackson. That had to have been the easiest zombie battle I've ever taken part in. I, uh, yeah. Didn't even take any damage, I don't think. No. I didn't even get attacked. The only one that had the opportunity was the dumb one that walked straight past Piranha. So, yeah. Easy peasy. Crappy safari suit. Ooh, onyx ring. And gunpowder. Well done, my boys. You, I'll just sell you. Don't need it. Not worth it. Hmm. I'll hang on to it just in case there's an unlockable character or something that could benefit. Probably not overly worth it. Weird. The game actually just crashed on me. It just shut down instantly. Like, blink of an eye. And I don't know what happened. I've been playing this game for like seven hours or something like that. And that's the first time that's happened. So... I have no idea. They've been updating the game very regularly, investing a lot in, in updating the game, so it could just be a small bug, a small artifact of some of the new features they're rolling out. Which, keep an eye on the devlog, because they're doing some cool things with it, and I feel like they're really listening to the community. Which, if we're talking about things that we would like to see changed or improved upon, I would like it that now and again when I find something like an onyx ring, that characters would have, like, a, a relic slot or something, you know, like some sort of modifier I could add to the character. You know how some of these guys will have things like uh, good at finding ammo or whichever, I don't, I don't remember which character has that, or good at finding fuel. That if you can have like a relic that added that to one of the characters. But if you had something like a character that's like uh, extra 10% ammo found then the relic at best could be like plus five or plus seven you would want it to be worse than the character's base skills because you don't want to accidentally make specific characters obsolete but yeah that was just my basic thought on things man jackson level four good for you buddy and miguel where what are we gonna do with you son assault rifle damage or crit strength plus 12 i think just basic damage increase is always a good one. <laughs> and his next step is becoming a, a grenades expert, which is pretty awesome. So far I've gone magazine size, vitality, assault rifle, crit chance, and crit strength. I think I prefer to improve crit chance. I mean, sure, it's good to have them strong when they land, but like, you gotta make sure they're landing to begin with, right? Wow. Uh, okay, he, that's, be that's better than his starting knife, but we really should try and upgrade some of these secondaries that these guys are carrying around. Piranha, I forgot that you have done so poorly in previous adventures I've taken you on. I didn't realize, like, you had just craptacular gear that you're still sitting at level 1. I really gotta get him some more exposure and get him leveled up. He's fallen behind, he's l lagging behind everyone else here. The old Caravanersary. Caravansary. Damn it. It's been a week or whatever since I've said that name and it's fooled me all over again. It's surrounded by a grove of 
un overgrown palm trees. At first glance, you can tell that no one has lived here for decades. The place looks abandoned. The only sound is the rustling of parched palm leaves in the wind. Search or take a look at the outbuildings using Brute. As you thought, the caravansary is deserted, but a locked outbuilding arouses your curiosity. Omar looks the massive wooden door up and down before heaving it open with his bare hands as if it were made of cardboard. <laughs> he really was he started a long ways away there. It was kind of funny how he had to jog in like that. As your eyes get used to the darkness, you realize that you're standing in the well room. You use the rope to lower the wooden bucket into the well until you hear a splash. Water. The water tastes delicious. As you set off again, you feel miraculously refreshed. Current health replenished. People were not that low of health. Oh, I like that you get experience from that too. It really isn't much, seeing as how he still hasn't leveled up. It was like seven or something. My team was not particularly injured, but hey, that's better than accidentally getting poisoned. Shit. Four fuel? Whatever encounters I come across, fights, whatever they are, I have to take them because I have to try and earn fuel. You pass an old abandoned mine entrance. It is not accessible. Shit. Accessible is precisely what I did want. <laughs> I got hosed. In the distance, you hear a wailing, many voice lament. Using some ruins for cover, you cautiously sneak closer to discover a group of cultists conducting some kind of ritual here. Definitely attack. And please, please have fuel on you. I kinda need it. I need it more than you guys do, for sure. Ooh. The infected are the ones that explode, I think. The spore bearer is up there. Uh, one that we can't see. A couple zombie twos. Oh, okay, where are the infecteds? Because they wig me out. Okay, we got them kind of spread at the southernmost point here. Maybe we can set you guys up to kind of uh, lead the charge here. Hmm, I don't want to. I feel like I shouldn't leave Piranha too exposed. Ah, uh, there's plenty of walls going on here. I'll just line everyone up at the front here, and we'll be able to take out at least a handful of these enemies. Mm, I think I want to just take out the spore bearer because it's going to be a big pain in the ass. God, it has more health than I thought it would. All right, first things first, I got to spend some attacks just taking out enemies then. Well done. And if I can take out a few enemies first. Yeah, 33. That wasn't very good, was it? Wasn't very good odds. Um... I can't even really get around to it to get a knife kill on there very easily. I might as well try and conserve some ammo though. Get in quick. And try and take this out, because having that character around doing its thing is crazy irritating. And I do not want it. At least I can try and move some of you guys out of the range of the spore bearer. That's probably my better bet. 40. Oh, that's the best I can stick you where you can still attack. At least it's 100%. Oh, and he landed the crit. Okay. That's uh, quite the relief, actually. And Miguel, uh, same, same thing. I think I just need to get you guys away from the spore bearer. I wish I hadn't uh, squeezed Jackson in so close there now. Conserving ammo, I guess, is never a bad a bad thing. What's just another zombie too? I can deal. Make make deal with that. <laughs> uh, keep a distance. Shit. Forgot they could do that. It's uh, a little bit strong. Uh, it's not that bad. 16 is not that bad, but it's wigging me out some. Oh shit. God, I really hate that thing, but Jackson just, like, can't kill it. Oh, but it can shoot so bloody far. Jackson and Piranha are the only ones who are in range of it right now, so maybe I just, maybe I just run these guys out of here. Get them somewhere out of range. Ah, uh, there's not many places I can send Jackson that's technically out of range without being just, like, horribly 
exposed in like the most dangerous way. Hunker down, I think, and reload, I guess, since you can't mo move. Alright, I gotta be smart about some of this. I'm suddenly feeling not very confident. I don't think I'm set up particularly well. The two of you, between Miguel and Omar, I should be able to take this guy out, no problem. Excellent. Okay, it looks like it's a usual grenade 3x3 three three explosion there, which I wasn't totally certain about. I do want to run... Okay. Spore bear can't reach it. Just run for cover. And... I guess there's plenty of places I could stick you where you'll be free. I just don't want him to get uh, totally crowded by these two zombies and the infected. Because then I'm going to get messed up for sure. Do what I can to chip away at these here. They always move slightly further than I think they can, but luckily for me, it's generally not very far still. Huh. Do you always do a ranged attack like that? Oh, and he probably very intentionally crowds around like that. Can I possibly make that work? Oh, damn. It's like they knew. They've learned. All right, buddy, uh, you're, you're, I'm just going to stick you any old place where you can still get a shot off on, on the infected there, just because I want someone to take him out at a safe distance and just be done with it. Everyone else can just run in, get some killing blows, hopefully, maybe, could be, possibly. Dang. So close. Omar? Oh, he's not he's not prepped for a double shot. Cause that would have been that would have been nice to have. Hmm. Jackson could get a bleed. A bleed on this guy quite easily. So I think I might run in for an attempt of that. He might just kill him on the first thing anyways. So he's toast. Shit, I forgot that the zombies can retaliate against melees like that. It honestly hasn't come up very often. That's only like the second time it's happened. I'll try... I should have just punched him. I should have run in and punched because he wouldn't get... He's a prince? Prince Omar? He wouldn't get uh, his retaliation shot to see if he'd be dead. And I wouldn't waste ammo. Which, I have a ton of ammo. I don't particularly have to worry about it. Oh, come on. If I is is defeating this thing just a matter of running out of its range because that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, loser? What? I swear that battles have ended before without me actually killing one of these. Well, I don't know what's going on then. I guess I actually have to make a move and get get characters close enough to try and kill this stupid thing. I got distracted from whatever it was I was saying while I was describing some of uh, my decision-making processes in this particular battle, so who the hell knows now. You stupid spore bearer. That's what I thought. Maybe like the Spore Bearer 2 that this thing is can do damage or does have other abilities so it's not as harmless and useless as the uh, the Spore Bearer 1 so the battle continues for this particular one. Oh, I attacked it at all and I won? That was weird, I didn't do enough damage to kill it so I don't entirely understand why that ended things. Come on, somewhere in here there's got to be fuel. Uh, lots of chests full of goodies, a stupid bracelet, a cedar chest, a cedar casket, and not any fuel. Isn't that just splendid? I'm just over the moon. 
Do you know what, though? We could totally one, two, three, and then run the last one on foot if we need to. But there's still the entire second wave of... I, I'm better off going to here. One, two, three. I can make it to there. I didn't think I could. You hear the guttural bleeding of the desert goats before they emerge from behind the next dune. The lonely herd wanders this desolate wilderness in search of the next paltry meal. Running dry on fuel sh soon. Everyone quit reminding me. Everyone just chill out and try to think about other things. Just think about how the undead are a thing. And that now a daily concern in your life. Maybe you occupy your brains with that just a little bit more. The flickering glow of your torches casts unsettling shadows on the scene before you. You hold your breath with excitement. You found an old, unopened sarcophagus in the dusty burial chamber. Oh, alright. I thought we were going to have to maybe roll to see whether or not it was going to be bad or not. And petroleum! Dope. It's totally worth it stopping here regardless. Because I'm going to need to stock up on some shit for the next leg of this anyways. Um, it's just a regular rest up spot. Well, I mistook its purpose. What do you mean? No more gas. People are getting real anxious here. It's, uh, it's reaching kind of a worrisome level. We can make it to this leg, the, the end of this leg, but then we're kind of stuck. You see an abandoned camp among some ruins. The campfire is no longer lit, but the ashes are fresh. Just how recent is this camp? As if in response to your unspoken question, you hear a rustle behind you. You spin around and see a detachment of soldiers pointing their rifles at you. You have walked into an ambush. Well, but... Hopefully, maybe it's just a small, maybe it's a light ambush. Just like, uh, just an unconcerning. Wow, it literally is a light ambush. It's a dog and two enemies. That's the weakest ambush I've ever encountered. Usually if you're going to ambush someone when you have less people, you would bring a stronger assortment of people and a better strategy. Because actively, currently, it seems like right now I have this, the advantage, <laughs> like, entirely. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what you guys were going for. But, uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll make do. I'm sure we'll, we'll manage. I guess I, I'm probably gonna have to immediately just run some of these characters out to make this work. No one's in range to, like, burst fire or grenade them. Jackson. This is the number two. Yeah, I'll run in next to him to, to get the, the knifing. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm hoping there's somewhere good and still covered that I can stick you. That's perfect. I'll take it. Oh, I don't think I leveled up Piranha. He would have leveled up pretty recently, and I might not have. I might not have spent his skill points. That's still, still up and coming. Someone pointed out that you can double shot, um, like a single enemy. So I wonder, I, I could do that here, but I think I'm going to save it because the next step of this is going to be a battle and I kind of figured one shot would be enough to do the trick there. Well, this was the worst ambush I've ever seen. What are you going to do about it? What's your, what's your big move here? What's your strategy? How are you going to shake things up? I tell you, it was a bold move. I see where you were going for. But it, it was a well thought out plan, but now I'm just gonna punch some Nazis. How do you feel about that? Who else who else can do punching? Oh, you're not close enough to punch. That's disappointing. I would have liked to just run everyone in and punch this guy to death. Would it would have been mildly satisfying. Come on, you all know what I'm saying. You agree with me. It would just be funny. Just making a real mockery of, at that attempted ambush. You guys better have had something good. Fuel, thank you, and a brand new rangefinder camera. An epic rarity item. Cool. It's worth a lot of money. Can't really do much with it. Piranha. What are we going to do with you, bud? Knife crit strength and knife damage. Hmm. I wasn't expecting you to become some sort of, some sort of uh, like knife specialist. 
I think I think I'm just gonna go with the damage. We'll just keep that nice and high. Everyone's going in full health. Excellent. This should be breezy. Vultures, circle the rocks. That's never a good sign in this inhospitable wilderness. With weapons drawn, you carefully approach a dried up water hole that you spotted among the rocks from afar. Yeah, it looks pretty rough. The startled vultures take flight, croaking their displeasure at exposing the scene at the rudimentary camp. You see various signs of an uneven fight. Battered wooden crates, a slashed backpack, and the mortal remains of a man in a tropical suit. <laughs> just enjoy, he's just got like a Tommy Bahamas sh shirt on, a grass skirt, and like a straw hat, some like big bright fluorescent sunglasses and a coconut with a straw in his hand. He's just decked out for a day on the beach. His body is perforated with multiple stab wounds. Ah, doesn't really contribute much to the overall look he was going for. In the dead man's chest, you find his heart. Just kidding. In his chest pocket, you find a folded newspaper article entitled Shocking Blood Rites in the Egyptian Desert, written by a certain Percy Ashton. Mer I wonder if that's a character you can eventually play as. It would be weird to bring, like, a scholar with you, but I'm sure you could bring some interesting, like, buffs to the table. Murdered by poison, kidnapping, and blackmail. The Kanesh Brotherhood's atrocities have terrorized our beautiful metropolis over the past few weeks. Who are the sinister powers behind this secret society? Rumors point to men of influence and prestige. But we do not wish to trouble our readers with speculation. The only thing that is certain is that the Kanesh Brotherhood are increasingly moving their activities to the Middle East now that our police authorities are on their heels. You search the dead man's belongings and find a British passport. The murdered man was Percy Ashton himself. I'm more suspicious that he won't be joining the team then. There's still a chance, but it's looking slim. He might need to rest up a little bit in this little rock tomb. The reporter was probably following a hot lead when the Brotherhood got to him. You bury the man and swear to make those fanatics pay for his murder. Are we going to have to make them pay immediately? Right this second? Hmm. One of the few times that that hasn't ended in a battle. I'm just so prepared for that on a regular basis. After your exhausting journey through the endless Egyptian desert, you finally cross the border into Sudan. Ancient Nubia. The, this place in the deepest south. The highlands of Moreau was once the ancestral seat of the lost king of Kush. <laughs> I think, I think maybe uh, the kings of Kush might be like Snoop Dogg and his friends. I can't, who, who else is famous for smoking lots of pot? Willie Nelson, Cheech and Chong, throw, throw those guys in the party. Those are the kings of Kush. At the remote dusty customs post, a scene of horror awaits you. Somebody, or something, attacked the officials, leaving nothing but dead, death and devastation. You search the squalid mud hut, but find no survivors. This is like... We're chaining together these events here from one scene to the next. We haven't even looked at this map or anything. In the courtyard, you see the rusted wreck of a car. The tank still appears to have a little gasoline. Oh, thank you. You search the customs post and take what little you can find. Hook me up with more. Fill me up. Just as much gear and loot and things as you can hook me up with. I'm kind of low on supplies. Then you continue your journey. You're all the more determined that the godless disciples of Tura Turash Ra pay for their crimes once and for all. We're throwing out Turash Ra and Koresh and all these things. Realm of Torment. The stench of death hung over the desolate customs post. Tons of fuel. Some bandages. An ammo box. It was only a small one, but still, I appreciate it. The uh, the gasoline really was the, the big thing I was in need of, though. Whoa. Okay. This is definitely one of the larger maps we've had to navigate. That looks crazy. It's shooting a sky beam out of the pyramid. Classic blockbuster movie sky beam going on over here. There are a lot of steps this way. There's, you can kind of, hmm, skirting across down here, 
and up that way seems generally easiest. Like, there are so many steps coming down along there. I'm gonna count out a minimum. Shit. This is 20 stops away. 21 if I want to take the extra pit stop for the store, which for sure I think I would want to. Man, maybe the game balances this intentionally, because if you take the minimum path all along here, it's 20. So it's kind of deceptive, because there's these big stretches like this that make it look like you're not stopping as often, but then there's like little clusters or limits of options here, you know, you can't skip across there, you have to go around there, so it, it ends up being pretty well the same. Oh, Omar leveled up too. Excellent, my boy. Reflexes, dexterity, or vitality? Both his vitality and dexterity are kind of weak. He's... Ooh, he's really lagging on the vitality, but he's one of the only guys who can use heavy armor. So he kind of makes up for it by packing the heaviest armor protection compared to anyone else. So maybe, maybe I don't need to worry about vitality as much for him. I never get to pick skills again. Everything else is like weapon based. I never get to pick stats, I guess I should say. I think, oh, I don't know. I think I want to invest in dexterity while it's available. I hope I don't come to regret that in any way. I think that's a, I think that's a pretty good choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. We come back, we'll start making our way through this. It might take two episodes. It's kind of a lengthy one. I'm going to bank this way because it has the shop. Uh, I'm going to have the recruit as an option in case I manage to lose anyone along the way. Hopefully not, but that seems like a good plan B to have in your pocket. So it's a pretty clear choice in my mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.